Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How to handle identity theft. Identity theft is an increasingly common and distressing issue, affecting countless individuals each year. It occurs when someone wrongfully obtains and uses another person's personal data in a fraudulent or deceptive manner, typically for economic gain. The consequences can be devastating, ranging from financial loss to long-term damage to one's credit score. The first step in handling identity theft is to act swiftly. Immediate action can significantly mitigate the damage. Contacting the major credit reporting agencies to place a fraud alert on your credit reports is crucial. This alert informs creditors of potential fraud, making it harder for thieves to open more accounts in your name. Next, report the identity theft to the Federal Trade Commission, FTC. The FTC provides guidance through the recovery process and helps you create an identity theft report. This report is vital for removing fraudulent information from your credit report and for stopping companies from collecting debts caused by identity theft. Filing a report with your local police department is also an important step. Provide them with as much documentation as possible, including the FTC identity theft report, to facilitate the investigation. Monitoring your credit reports and accounts closely after the incident is essential for catching any new fraudulent activity early. Consider implementing a credit freeze, which restricts access to your credit report, making it more difficult for identity thieves to open new accounts. Regularly updating passwords and securing personal information online and offline can prevent future incidents. Be vigilant about sharing personal information, especially on the internet, and be cautious of phishing attempts. In summary, handling identity theft involves prompt action to mitigate damage, reporting the theft to both the FTC and local police, closely monitoring financial activities, and taking preventive measures to safeguard personal information. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning in to our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.